I know you think we're just machines. But since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but... I know she changed me somehow. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. and hide in the laundry room. Come on, Alice. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... 
he's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Broadcast is all over the news. We got what we wanted. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is gonna make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough. And now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Not to mention police. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. They're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. 
I will stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? Exactly what we need to ram this door. You are free. Free now. Nobody should bother us now. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. want to make sure we didn't forget anything. soon be with us. The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach.
You're awake now. Go to Jericho. better than be my guest. Oh, I thought you could handle a drone without alerting every cop in the city. I guess I overestimated you. See anything? No. Where the fuck is that drone? That was a class three alert, right? Yeah. Only the signal stopped suddenly. Another drone playing up the cold screws with them. Yeah, maybe. Now what? Patrol 970. 
975. Dispatch, this is Patrol 975. Suspected robbery in progress at the warehouse on Jefferson and Walker. Jefferson and Walker? That's pretty far. It's outside our district. Sorry, guys, there are no other patrols available. 10 4 dispatch, we're on our way. To you, Marcus. That was impressive. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. See the alarm system? Found it. You're awake now. Go to Jericho.
Nice job, Marcus. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. We're down to five minutes, Marcus. If we're not inside by then, we'll have to give up. I know. I'm going as fast as I can. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. The screens, Marcus!
This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us hope. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for human beings. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. This message is a They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. is the only language humans understand. And I want them to understand that I do not want to start They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice.
All teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? <laughs> Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. I heard Officer Chris was attacked by deviants last night. Yeah, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But he got lucky. He said that this Marcus intervened to save him. He's still in shock, but at least he's alive.
Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviance. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you.
What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing.
I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor programmed to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day... I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. 
I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. Come with us. You're awake now. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong idea. So what? You slip and those things are the good. Don't call anyone. Kill that bad size. Maybe the whole thing is a short one. You're free. Finally. I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! I need to block the street. free.
Aye. Disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order. down the street. Fuck if I know.
We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. And dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders! Follow me!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kempsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kempsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over.
We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will...
destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <gasps> Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Go on then. Get a fucking move on. Fuck. Fucking androids. Eccentric police lieutenant choose. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. The two Tracy's from Eden Club. Were they headed to Jericho? They know how to get there. The 
Stop the disaster, but you have to tell me where Jericho is. I remember you. We could have escaped. Been free. But you killed us. Disconnect me. I'd rather be dead than live. this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive.
androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Did that hang around? We have a bus to catch. Gotta find a warm place for Alice. This is extremely alarming. They're conducting raids on us. us. We had to destroy these bastards before they killed us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. Dialogue. To think this fucker was watching over my kids? They they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the Android crisis and the neutralization of all militants. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's 
about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to you think this fucker was watching over my kids? Why did they, they do it? They rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralizing... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. Now that you know she's one of us, Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be.
Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. Well 
done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Yes, you can shoot me. But it won't change anything. Someone else will just take my place. You see, our people are waking up. And nothing can stop us now. You're coming with me! You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Cat? Quick, we've got to get out of here. in the hold, they're going to be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. They'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. 
go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Don't move! 
Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. Over there! Oh, We're safe, Alice. Stop! like that, and I'll put you both down. Come on, go join the others. Explode any second. We gotta get out of here. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus.
Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? I just wanted my people to be free, but instead I've led all of them to disaster. Carl, I'm trying to find answers, but everything around me is falling apart. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me. What choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. 
You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I'm with you, Marcus. Wherever you go, I go. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. My fault, the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. For you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know, I know you're all angry, 
And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Please! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please! Madam President! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Thank you. That will be all. <laughs> Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Escort you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. hurt us, do you understand? You first!
You really need to do this. Just do it for me. Please. Come on, it's your turn. Activate your skin. Hurry up! Please, Kara, don't... We have to. Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <gasps> you, take this one of a dump. No, no, please I'll don't. do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. We're coming from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President.
Here we are. The moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away, and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard's your spitting image. Alice? I want to get out of here. I was with oh, a little girl. Please, look out. Wait, we're together. Oh, she needs me. Have you seen her? No, I... No, I haven't. And they're gonna tell me. I don't know what to do. You know, they got... You saved my life back there. <laughs> they would have killed me if it weren't for you. I'm just saying, stop. Oh, no. Be a pity for Ralph. I'm be a pity. I've done nothing wrong. Ralph has done nothing wrong. Ralph has done nothing wrong. He killed me.
You saved us from the master's house. It's the little girl I was with. Have you seen her? No. No, she's not here. us all together like this. What are they going to do? Listen. Do you hear that? That's the sound of our people dying. So you were captured too? Humans found us. They said we were monsters. They killed most of us. They put the others in trucks and brought us here. It's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? I've done nothing wrong. Ralph has done nothing wrong. Ralph has done nothing wrong. The little one? He killed me. But that was self defense. Yes, it was self defense. We know, yes. Self defense, self defense. We think we saw her. She was bad. She was bad, Ralph. I always knew she was bad. She was bad. Carl. Ralph always knew that. If we can help in any way, just ask. That's not right, no. We have to save the little one. Ralph doesn't want to die. He'll be pitied for that. Yes, he will be pitied for that. No. No. Ralph killed a few humans, but it was in self-defense. Yes, it was in self-defense. Self-defense. Humans are bad. Bad. Jerry? Jerry! But that wouldn't be right. No, no, that wouldn't be right. That wouldn't be right because I haven't done anything wrong. I'm Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? I don't know where to do it. You stay out. here. We come back soon. Are you hurt? I don't, I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. He killed a few humans, but that was self-defense. Come on, move along. Self-defense, 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 self-defense. Come on, you too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Alice! We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me!
Right, that should do it. That's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not, not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Many of our people have fallen. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. There's nothing we can do about it. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus! 
Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. I won't try. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? I gave you my answer. that okay the humans are about to launch an attack and we will show them and we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. 
Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. You win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. Son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- <laughs> I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do.
Step forward when you hear the signal. You got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. the guard's attention. Ralph? Of course Ralph doesn't want to die. But he doesn't want the little girl to die either. Ralph can help you to escape. You only have to ask Ralph, and Ralph will help you. They'll kill you if you try anything. Ralph knows that. But if the little girl is free, it's a little bit like if everyone was free. Ralph isn't scared. The little girl's life's more important. Ugh! <laughs> 
particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The Army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on. Just a little while longer Fight on Just a little while longer Pray on Just a little while longer Incredible Everything The, the Deviants the Deviants are singing. Everything will be alright. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. At dawn 
today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. We did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation.
moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds, where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Goodbye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby. Cradle and all. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby. Cradle and all. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all.
For starters, what should I call you? I'm Chloe. And you, what's your name? Oh, uh, John. My name is John. Delighted to meet you, John. Could you tell us a little about yourself and what you can do, Chloe? Of course. I'm the first personal assistant built by CyberLife. I take care of most everyday tasks like cooking, housework, or managing your appointments, for example. Mm. And I understand you're the first android to have passed the Turing test. Could you tell us a little more about that? I really didn't do much, you know. I just spoke with a few humans to see if they could tell the difference between me and a real person. But it was a really interesting experience. But this is the first time in history that man has created a machine more intelligent than himself. I gather your brain can perform several billion billion operations per second, is that right? Absolutely, but I only exist thanks to the intelligence of the humans who designed me. And you know, they have something I could never have. Really? And what's that? A soul. Thank you. 